What's up guys, I'm Vince Delmonte of VinceDelmonteFitness.com and today we've got the challenge of giving you a 21 minute workout with just one set of dumbbells. Not only that, but this workout is gonna be geared to building muscle. I'll tell you how we do that in a second. What we're doing here is we're taking seven key exercises and I'm gonna teach you how to make them much harder. So whether you wanna do this workout at a hotel gym or in your home in the basement, if you got limited space, wherever you're working out, this workout is gonna get the job done. All right, so let's get to it. So you guys see this number? That's your new favorite number. What this number means is the amount of time you're gonna do each set and the amount of time you're gonna rest. So you've got 45 second sets and 45 second rest periods. You're gonna do two sets per exercise, which is gonna give you a total of 21 minutes of actual in the gym resting and working out, all right? Now, these aren't just gonna be any ordinary 45 second sets. These are gonna be ball busting sets where I want you to squeeze the muscles as hard as possible. It's not what you do, it's how you do it. So I'm gonna show you these exercises and I'm gonna tell you what to think about while you're doing them so that you get a ton out of just this one pair of dumbbells you've got access to. All right guys, so exercise number one are our dumbbell front squats. The reason we wanna load the front is because it keeps us more upright, it allows us to get deeper, which, is, which allows us to challenge our quads more. All right, so what we're really focusing on doing here, guys, is breaking at the knees first. So I want you to really think about your knees traveling forward, that way that loads more over top the quads and we're gonna be able to really, really focus on that quad dominant exercise. Now when you're at the bottom, I don't want you just to think about coming up, I want you to think about pushing the floor away from you. And on the way back, maintain that tension all the way to the top position and then come right back down. So don't rest at the top. The next exercise is the dumbbell wide grip neutral push up. So what this basically means is we want to take a nice wide grip so that we can get again nice and deep, deeper than we could if we were just putting our hands on the floor. All right, so I want you guys to go down nice and slow and allow your pec fibers to really, really stretch out. Before you come up, here's the thing nobody does. I want you to contract your pec muscles first. Engage them, feel them contract, and then start pushing the floor away from you. That's the way to keep maximal intent within your pecs. You're gonna feel some in your shoulders, some in your triceps, but that's really gonna help create this as a chest emphasis. This next exercise, number three, is dumbbell stiff-legged deadlifts. Now, what I want you to think about here is really shoving your hips back, all right? So we're gonna keep our feet grounded, feet are making as much surface support with the base of our feet, and we're really shoving the hips behind you, all right? So we're not just dumping over at the hips, we're really stretching out the hamstrings, and we're going down slowly, all right? So I actually want you to think about contracting your abs and flexing your trunk as far forward as possible, kind of like if you were sitting up to do a sit and reach flexibility test, you're trying to reach forward, but you're doing that while keeping a neutral spine. That's gonna help increase the length at your hamstrings, and it's also gonna, again, create more opportunity for them to be challenged. All right, at the bottom, I, want, I don't want you to kind of just snap back out of the bottom. I want you to start shoving your feet into the ground, maintain that tension you created from the stretch, and carry it back up with you. So at no point within the 45 second rep should your muscles be resting. Okay, this next exercise, if you've got a mirror, it's definitely gonna help because we wanna do dumbbell side lateral raises, but we wanna do them slightly bent over. And that's because what we wanna do is we wanna ensure that the side head, the, the lateral head of the shoulder is on top when you bring your arm out to the side. As you can see here, my side delt is on top, which means the line of force that's coming through the shoulder is actually gonna challenge that part of the shoulder. Instead, if I was standing upright, the force would be going more through the front of the shoulder, which is a muscle that already gets challenged in all, pretty much all of our pushing and pulling exercises because it crosses that joint. So really focus on a slight bend at the hips. Really think about reaching for opposite walls and think about just bringing the dumbbells to about six to 12 inches away from your body. So we're not coming all the way in where the muscles can rest. Again, we're focusing on making this as hard as possible. This next exercise is for your back, 
primarily the upper back, and we call them dumbbell bent over raises. Again, what we're trying to do here is add that isometric contraction at the top. It's something I actually haven't mentioned in any of the other um, exercises here, but we want to apply about a two second pause in the shortened position, because that's where it's hardest. That's where there's opportunity to make growth. So in this exercise here, I want you to hold it for two seconds at the back. And while you're holding, you're just not holding it, you're actually contracting the muscles as hard as possible. You're squeezing them. Your muscles should be burning. They should feel like they're gonna rip. And you're gonna keep that tension where you want it, in the muscle you wanna grow, that you wanna shape. All right, so that's what you're thinking about there. Keep your feet locked down to the floor, keep your core tight, and just really focus on getting those elbows back and maintaining tension on that upper back. And you're gonna feel it in your rear delts as well. This next exercise, because we've done a lot of stuff that has engaged your core, we're gonna hit the biceps, but we're gonna sit down. We're gonna give your core a bit of a break so that we can isolate the arms. And what we're gonna do here, as you can see, are partial seated curls. So we're gonna really challenge the shortened position of the movement, which is where we're typically weak, and it's where we typically let off the tension. So I want you to really squeeze all the way through, squeeze as hard as you possibly can. Your skin should feel like it's gonna rip. All right, and really, again, hold it in that shortened position and just keep that tension on, not letting it off within that short range of motion. Last exercise is for the triceps. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna challenge them at the shoulder and at the elbow, where the muscle crosses the joint in both places. So tricep kickbacks can be a very challenging exercise if you do them properly. The key is in the setup. So what I want you to do, notice how I take the dumbbells and I actually put them behind me first. So I extend my shoulder, I pre-shorten my triceps. And then when I lean over, that resistance really, really gets them to contract before I've even started doing any movement. I want you to maintain that shoulder extension, the whole movement, and then focus on kicking your wrist as far back as you can while maintaining that tension in your arms. All right, so don't go at a pace where you feel like you've lost it. You should feel your arms getting fuller and fuller every single rep. That's it, guys. Those are your seven exercises made a lot harder. Those are seven key exercises. If you're gonna do them at home or in a gym that you know, might be a little busy, that's how you're gonna build muscle, all right? 45 second sets, 45 second rest periods, two sets each, focus on how well you do it, not just you know, aimlessly just swinging the weights around from point A to point B. So there you guys go, your first time working with time. So as you can see, if you do things properly, you don't need to be in the gym a long period of time. If that gets easy, add a third set, add a fourth set, but focus on maximizing 21 minutes before you think about doing more. While you're doing these 45 second sets, control, own it, really look for the opportunities to go to places you haven't been before while maintaining tension on the muscles. That's how you guys are gonna get results. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, be sure to like up the video below and let me know in the comment section, what do you want me to film next for you? Also, as a little gift for you for sitting around all the way to the end, click that button up there, that annotation there, and it's gonna take you to a page where you can get a free workout if you wanna increase your muscle building results. 100% free, just enter your first name, your best email address, and then just click that button to confirm that you want me to send it to you. If you're watching this video on your mobile phone, you won't be able to click that button. So click the first link in the description below, follow the same steps, and I'm gonna send it to you right away. Just a little gift for me to you for watching all the way through. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, hit that button over here, and you'll be notified first when I upload my next video. Peace out.